What is up, guys? T-Double Booty on here with another YouTube props, 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 props. And this time, this is going to be on one of my favorite YouTubers of all time in this community, or really just in general, Technical Work Rate Productions. But in this case, we're going to be looking at TWRP Miscellaneous because they don't really use their main channel anymore. I don't really remember exactly what they said happened to it or whatever but or if it'll ever come back but yeah this is pretty much if you want to watch their content this is the channel to watch a uh, link to their channel will be in the description though you probably already see it a little bit up here but nevertheless yeah man technical work with productions these guys are absolutely great they're i would say the pillars of this community right now because trust me there's really not very many people left in it i cover this stuff but i don't know if i could say i'm part of the community maybe i don't know i don't really care all that much whether i am or not but yeah but in terms of this like community these guys are uh the internet wrestling community these guys are definitely the cornerstone of it because there, there there's so many people that haven't that's just yeah that's just left this community due to whether it be the ever growing toxicity or maybe just burnout or just for, yeah or just even for the sake of wanting to do other stuff yeah so but these guys have still stayed here man these guys are still doing it still doing it big they tell it like it is no matter what you know, they've done an overhated on Goldberg. They've done an overhated on Miz. We aren't big fans of internet drama. I don't blame them. Neither am I. I you guys know me half the time if it's something stupid like any ad hominems or just anything like trying to be toxic in any way. You guys know how I naturally get down, how I naturally respond to that sort of jazz. But yeah. I think these, but yeah, I think these dudes are definitely like, they're just real. Yeah. They're just real dudes, man. Real stand up guys. Uh, I haven't really, I mean, I've been on their live streams. I don't think I've really had much interaction with them, but from what I see in their videos, from what I've seen in their live streams, they seem like genuine dudes. Like they seem like really cool, genuine dudes and all that. Uh, and honestly, Let's see. These guys mostly go live uh, every so often. I usually try to check out some of their live streams as much as I can. And they're always pretty entertaining. I always wind up seeing a lot of people that I know, a lot of people that um, some people that I'm subscribed to, some people that uh, are subscribed to me. So that's always pretty cool. I, I guess we share. Yeah, we kind of share that uh, community and stuff. And I, I really I really appreciate that. But I guess if I had to check out any content by them, let's do Overhated The Miz. You know how we do, we like to do, we like to do full screen up in this bit. What is up everybody, NC? JC and... We're back with a new show. This one is called Overhated. And I wanted to make the show because I'm sick and tired of seeing people who are marketable, people that actually matter in the industry, people who are safe with their opponents, exactly. people that draw, people that are successes outside of the ring being ripped apart and overhated by yeah. not only the smarks, but even the casuals too. And it's wrong. It's fucking wrong. So the first person I want to talk about is somebody who has been overhated for the longest fucking time. Pretty yes, much ever since he dude, is debuted crazy. in WWE is The Miz. The Miz is massively overhated on so many levels. Yep. And all it really took was a couple of YouTubers really bashing the shit out of him mm -hmm. to get a lot of the casual community hating him. As the Smarks already does. hated him because he was a guy that didn't come up from the indies. Mm -hmm. Well, and you get even right to your opinion. If you don't like The Miz, you don't like The Miz. I'm but why don't you? That's the biggest question. They can never they can lay never out why they, they're always tacky, Ever. cheesy. But who isn't tacky and cheesy in WWE? Thank Literally, you. the WWE writers make everybody, even the bloodline, tacky and cheesy. Yes. So you can't use that as an excuse. Well, no. Everybody's tacky and cheesy. And, and even if you want to say they're they're overpushed, 
Okay, the Miz was the world champion once. Exactly. Right. He's just a mid. So you can't even say that for him. Like, what? Wh- what are you fucking losing your minds over? Yeah. He's just a mid carder. So what? Well, granted, he did have two reigns, but still, it's like they were yeah. eye blinks. Yeah, the, you know, yeah. it, it's not like it even really mattered in the long run. No. And not only that, but it's not like this guy is being shoved down your fucking throat. No. Okay. He has not a like steady spot people. every single time Same on Raw thing. where he's able to go and do his Cody. thing. And granted, it's not the best segment on the show, but it's what he's allowed to do with the PG constraints. Right. I've always said that a TV MA Miz would be fucking money. Yeah. Because the Dude, guy can I cut a promo. He is that. money on the mic. He looks like a star. I, oh, he looks kind of pudgy. What fucking wrestler does it nowadays? Yeah. yeah. Don't fucking use that excuse. At least he looks like he can fucking beat somebody's ass. Right. I will never take that away from the guy. He's not a vanilla midget. He's at least he's legitimately six feet tall. About two twenty five. He's yeah. not like a giant. Yeah, Gargano. he puts the time in the gym. He's not the biggest dude, but at least he looks like a wrestler, and that's all you can ask for. Well, nowadays. and he's not being pushed like a top card guy. Right. He's just a big carter. He's a sufficient role filler, and so yeah. many people are like, "Miz doesn't deserve a job. Miz doesn't deserve to be there." He's a company man. Exactly. Well, like, first off, he's a good promo. He's loyal. He he never you gets injured. Why? Why wouldn't you want a talent like that? Yeah. Because to them, he doesn't have the work rate. He puts ah. on boring shit matches. Tommaso Ciampa and Bronson Reed don't deserve to work with him. Dexter Loomis shouldn't be working with him. Johnny Gargano shouldn't be working with him. You've seen all these fucking smarks say that it's because of The Miz that all these indie NXT jack-off talents have been weighed down. No. What? If anything, Miz is being charitable enough to fucking work with these idiots yeah. and show them something. Well, exactly. And not only that, but they need someone to work with. These right. NXT guys need people in mid-card to work with. Exactly. Well, and not only that, but especially a guy who's a veteran of the business. People knows the system and knows how to put people over. Right. Miz is not one of those guys who demands to get a fucking win, who demands no. to go over other people. He doesn't say, no, no. that's not going to work for me, brother. That's not part of his vocabulary. Right. He does his job. I've never heard no, and he doesn't that. whine like Dolph Ziggler does. Nope. I'm so underappreciated. <laughs> now, Dolph will try to say that that's a gimmick, but we know better. That's no. just how he is. He cries and complains. Now, Miz, he does not cry and complain. Why? Because he's actually a success outside of WWE. Right. This is a guy who put in time, used... The name power of the WWE helped him boost off a of real world. He used that name power to go and get his own shows. Yeah, good for him. And to get that money and to make a name for himself outside of WWE, which is what I have always recommended to every charismatic wrestler. Do what you can outside of your contract to raise your name value. Oh, because yeah. at the end of the day, this is a physical business that they're in, and you cannot rely on your body, especially with today's fucking Mark Strong style breakneck bullshit. You cannot rely yeah, on your no. body. You have to be able to rely on your charisma, your promo ability, your ability to put asses in seats. And even though they say Miz doesn't do that, he does all of those. Yeah. Miz is somebody who you could put him on a card and it's not going to turn away people. No. You put anybody f- from NXT who recently got called up on the card, they're going to turn away people. Look at the fucking ratings. Exactly. It, it just yeah. also trips me out, too, about The Miz. It's like, The Miz is not one of those guys who says Marky shit on the internet. No. Like, he doesn't say Marky he shit. Though. He doesn't say cocky shit. Never, he doesn't say liberal it. shit. He keeps his politics out of wrestling, as, as far as I've seen. Should. He's one of the most professional... And I emphasize this, or one of the most professional wrestlers that has ever existed in the modern era. He well, really is. He absolutely is. And, you know, like, you look at, again, The Miz. He's not that bad. Like, he's he, not fucking bad, and he's just, people shit all over him. Why? Like, okay, he's not like badass Batista back in 2005. He's just a mid-carder. Dude, he doesn't need to be. Those guys are one-of-a-kind talents. Miz fills his role as mid-carder, and he does a sufficient job at it. Right. Jeez. There's, there's no reason to hate him. There like, really isn't. Well, if you think uh, at this point, JC, do you think it's just jealousy? Oh, it's definitely I mean, jealousy. look at the guy. The, the guy, I he's got a beautiful wife. Years. He's got a great family. He's successful outside of wrestling. He lives in a mansion. He has three teeth. And also, honestly, I kind of want to add to that because it really just feeds in to what I've been saying uh, about like a lot of these wrestling marks. It's that. It's really an ego thing with them. That, that That's really what it all comes down to. It's an ego thing with these people. They want the wrestlers that look like them. Yeah, that look like them, that they can identify the most with and stuff like what? No, actually, yeah. How they used to say it was an image thing that like, oh, 
casual is only like buff guys and all that type of dude. It's just as much of an image thing with these people, except they want people that look exactly like them so that they can say, ooh, hey, uh, like, let's say uh, Sami Zayn won a championship. If a uh, normal, yeah, if like another, like, regular looking, doughy, redheaded, bearded dude, bearded gremlin dude won that championship, he could say, hey, that's me. That that's really all that is. It's an image thing. It's an ego thing with these people. These people don't even go to shows to even be entertained. They go to shows to try to do the entertaining. They want the shows to be centered around them. That's what it is. And they hate people. They hate people that look larger than life, that look like they're something more. Yeah, they hate that because it makes them feel entirely self-conscious. And shit, I mean, I didn't mean to go on this like tangent to make it seem like this was just a reaction video, but I just feel like I had to kind of add that point. I don't know if we're going to watch the whole video or not, uh, but I kind of just want to let it play for a little bit more. If he chose. He's a millionaire. He's got WWE in his back pocket. Do you think they're a little jealous? Oh, the oh the they're a lot be? jealous. But we aren't. We respect his game. We respect yeah, somebody like too. Miz because you know what? He wasn't handed a single one of those things. Hell he no. had to work. He had to bust his fucking ass. He had to do embarrassing gimmick angles like the fucking KFC match with Dolph Ziggler. You uh -huh. know, He had to do some embarrassing shit. And trust me, the embarrassing shit is not done with. No. It's not done with. And he'll still do it, damn it, because he's a fucking professional. But he's had to do all of that shit and has never once complained. No. That, to me, is so fucking rare in 2023. Exactly. You can think of a fucking wrestler in WWE that hasn't once complained on social media. The Miz is not that guy. No. He does his job, goes home, and enjoys time with his family. And that's another thing that I love about him, too, is the guys of Chad. And yeah. nowadays, when they're uh, just... In an actual Chad, not let fake-ass Andrew Tate... MGTOW red pill bullshit. He's an actual Chad. Basically celebrating depravity and how these wrestlers are out fucking each other and going by and doing all this fucking other weird shit. Mm -hmm. Miz is promoting good family values. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How to have a successful family. Marry a great woman. Treat her well. Have some good kids. Get some more TV shows. Be famous. Be awesome. Yeah. He does that. Exactly. And anything WWE has thrown his way, even the shit with Morrison that they did where they were rappers, they gave us a shout out, you know, that was cool. Yeah. But even shit like that, Wait, he makes it work no matter what. He would have done a rap song with Bad Bunny, he would have made that shit work. Right. Because he's a professional, he knows yeah, what he's doing. He's a true entertainer too. And that's something that he doesn't get up. enough credit for. A true <laughs> entertainer can be put in any sort of environment and thrive. It doesn't matter what it is. Any sort of environment, they will thrive. And that's what the Miz does. Well, it's like, again, we've said it a million times. He doesn't deserve to be hated. He doesn't. Like, what has he done that, that makes him so hateable? I just don't get it. He goes out there in a, in a fucking goofy robe and cuts a promo. He's bland. He's boring. <laughs> Not well, more bland and boring than Cody Rhodes. Well, that's what exactly. I'm saying. Is that Here we have Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn, two glorified mid cars being shoved down our fucking throats. Yes, and the Sparks are actually. demanding. They're trying to hijack WrestleMania so that Roman has to defend his titles against both Cody and Sami, oh, two glorified fucking mid carters on WrestleMania. Yet the Miz, he's lucky to even get enough spot on WrestleMania. Yeah. If anything, he's going to be in the fucking Cinnamon Toast Crunch match. That's a travesty. Because he'll do it and nobody else will. Of course, and he won't bitch about it like so many of these fucking... Like Johnny Gargano, I am being horribly mistreated. <laughs> what the fuck, Triple H? I could have been putting on a five-star match clinic. Instead, I'm waddling around in a bowl of cereal. Well, that makes sense because you look like a little boy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But no, The Miz, he's probably going to have to fucking do that match. He's oh, probably going to have to be the one embarrassed on WrestleMania, well, no, if even gonna, featured at all. So Over a two-night event, I bet you anything, they'll put him in there, but they're going to give him some off, stupid, off. goofy fucking backstage segment. Probably, yeah. The Miz, for as much time as he's put in WWE, as long as he's been around, as dependable as he's been the fact he's never gone anywhere else didn't go to tna didn't go to gaew never went to impact never went anywhere else was loyal dedicated to wwe and what do they do they rip them apart for it of course you're yeah. dedicated i'll let shit on you for it yeah you're successful i'll let shit on you for it it's because he didn't go to aw exactly. it's not about that you fucking retards and even then 
even then, there would still be shit talkers for him if he went to AEW. Of course. Exactly. Why? Because he'd be outshining MJF. Yeah. And they wouldn't like that. No. Because let's face it, MJF a, is a dollar store Miz. He really is. is. Always has been, always will be. He's the that. kid has You're just ta- a less famous Miz. The kid has talent. I will not deny yeah. that, but he got all of his shtick from the Miz, and he will never once give him credit. And you know what? Yeah. Miz is such a cool guy, he will never once accuse MJF, unless it's on camera, of being a biter. Exactly. He's not that type of guy. He doesn't care. If anything, he probably considers it flattery. That this kid is out doing his shtick. Miz, MJF, both start with an M and both have three letters. And both are about to suck bloody Saudi dick. Oh the white my Nazis. God. <laughs> Dude, I'm sick and tired of the Miz hate. It's Me way too, too much. It's over dramatic. It. It's nonsensical. And please, in the comments, let us know why you think the Miz sucks. And, and it's like, actually come up with a good reason too. like don't be on this freaking oh you guys are just men's dick like how about I actually come up with a reason shit i might do my own sort of overhated on that well i don't know i mean i guess i could yeah i don't know i guess i could i don't know if it would be overhated but it would be definitely a video that like talks about you know the same sort of thing it wouldn't be an overhated though. I don't know if it'd be a top ten. I don't know if it would be a rant video or what. But heck yeah, man! These guys were speaking the straight truth, dude. Like easily and honestly. The cool thing about yeah, the cool thing about them, uh, the cool thing about their channel is their top ten awesomes. Their top ten, um, all that. Yeah, like honest to god, like their top yeah, their top ten awesomes. Their top ten. Um, videos in general are honestly a bit inspirational to me. Like, honestly, I have a little bit inspired by their content uh, when it comes to my top tens. Because I'm pretty sure, I mean, they may not own like the trademark or like top ten or whatever, but, but when I started doing top tens initially, it was on wrestlers. And I got inspired from these guys to do that sort of thing. And that's one thing that I definitely give these guys the utmost credit on. Uh, I'm definitely not afraid to say that at all. These guys are amazing YouTubers. Anybody that has not seen these guys' content, has not watched these guys' content, or at least checked out their live streams, um, yeah, check them out. Their live streams are always great. I always try to catch up with them every chance I get. Um... Some of them I don't always catch, but, you know, uh, it is what it is. Shouts out to TWRP, man. Uh, And until then, this has been your boy, TW Booty Hunter, giving you guys another banger. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass. Only hearing what you wanted to. And getting butt hurt like the sensitive little bitch you are. Thank you for being an ass.